Hey guys, today we're gonna do a really quick lunge workout. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit faster pace, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and we're just gonna get our blood pumping here. So it's not gonna be a slow yoga breath. It's gonna be more, um, more power, but some isolated movement and some big movement and just kind of quick and get your heart pumping. So let's scoot back and get started. So right away, we're gonna start here with our legs wide. Toes pointed out. And find a bend in your knees here. Our toes and our kneecaps are facing the same direction. And then just give yourself some side to side movement here. If you wanna scrunch into your shoulders a little bit, I don't care right now. Feel your muscles here. You can wiggle around in it a bit if you want. Maybe spinning a little bit deeper. And let's drop our right shoulder down. Twist towards the left. Just feel that stretch before we really get moving here. And then switch sides. the heart, right toes up, left toes up, just keep switching back and forth here, breathe, and both up, and release, both up, release, two more, up, release, up, release, good, now come to a lunge. Now you want your feet hip distance apart here in your lunge. Scoot that back foot back. Straighten that front knee some, hands on the hips. Now this front knee is right above our ankle here. We're really gonna isolate and find a really small movement here, pressing that knee forward more over the top of your foot and back. And that's 10, this is nine. Back, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now choices. You can either turn it around for the other side or you can make a big jump switching your legs and then adjusting. Same thing, straighten that back knee some. And just really small isolated movement here. Pressing that knee forward and back, forward and back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to switch sides again, so either jumping or just turning the feet. Either way is correct. Now this time, we're going to bring the arms overhead. Inhale, exhale. We're going to lower everything down. Just hover the knee. And overhead. And release. Eight. Release. Seven. Release. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, hold here, hover, 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 release it back up, either turning the feet or finding that big jump, adjusting, the jump is hard, and then same thing here, inhale, exhale, nice, strong, determined movement, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, switching sides however you like. Maybe you were jumping before and now you're like, not so much, no thank you. Arms overhead. Now we're gonna release the arms down 
This back leg is going to kick up. Don't kick up so far that you come to handstand or at risk of flipping over. Just give it a little kick up. And then back to your lunge. Nine. All the way back. Eight. Seven. All the way back up. Six. Five. Controlled. Four. Three. One. No two. <laughs> now one. Same thing. Jump or switch. Same thing on this side. Arms overhead and give yourself 10. One side's a lot easier than the other to kick with. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. And four. Three. Two. Now notice I'm not kicking as high on this side. It's my weak side. One. Hands to hips. Face front again. Now this time, I'm going to drop the hands down. Bend into the right knee. And to the left. And to the right. And left. Just keep coming back and forth with the side lunge motion. Breathe. The next time you're to the right, stay there. As far down as you like to go. And keep the hands down, or put your hands to the heart. Flex that foot, and then point it. Ooh, reach, flex. And point, flex, and point, flex, point, keep going here, and then switch sides. Flex that foot, you can have your hands down or up, whatever feels better. And then find that pointing and flexing again. Just feel how that changes that stretch. And then press back up to the center. Now walking the hands to either side, dropping that back knee down towards a low lunge. Now we're going to rise up here, ankles under the knee. Now on an inhale, we're going to press that front heel and back knee away from each other. You're not going to see it, but you're sure going to feel it. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, press away. And exhale, squeeze in. Keep going with that at your own breathing pace. Now the next time you exhale, hold the squeeze, but keep breathing. Keep squeeze, squeeze, squeezing it in. Left hand outside or inside that left knee and then twist it back. Keep holding that squeeze. Breathe. We're using this left hand to make sure that knee does not fall in. We're keeping it where it belongs. Right over that foot. And then release. Bring both hands inside that foot. Drop that knee out to the pinky toe side. You can see it's happening here. 
but dropping that knee out, dropping the foot to the pinky toe side of the foot. Find yourself a little bit of wiggles here. Really wiggling around into that hip. Now just settle in here for a few breaths. Breathe into that hip. sides this time. Let's just sit back and switch. Once you're there and ground your knee, just rise up. And same thing this side. Inhale, front heel, back knee, press away from each other. And exhale, squeeze it in. And press it away. And squeeze it in. Press away. Squeeze it in, a couple more. Hold that squeeze now, but keep breathing. Just bring that right arm inside that right knee. We're just giving it some strength to keep that knee above the foot. And then just back. Keep breathing, hold on to that squeezing sensation. And untwist, bring both hands inside that foot. Just drop that knee towards the right. Come to the pinky toe side of that foot. And just give yourself a little bit of wiggles here in that hip. Find those sore sticky spots. in here for just a few breaths. And then we're gonna unbend there, bring it back, bring your knees wide, toes together, rest in child's pose. Let your heart rate continue to slow, come back to normal. Stay in child's pose as long as you like. And you've done your lunges for the day. Call it good. See ya.